All right, everybody. So now we're entering into chapter four for fluid lines and fittings. As you can see, we're entering the 36 total questions in sec in this section. It's going to be divided into three different parts. So let's get started. All right. Fluid lines and fittings. Question number one. It's an AN 818-8. Eight AN 818-8. AN 818-8. Which coupling nut should be selected for use with a half inch aluminum oil lines, which are to be assembled using flare tube ends and standard AN nuts, sleeves and fittings? You're going to use an AN 818-8. AN 818-8. Okay. Number two, outside diameter in one sixteenth of an inch increments. Outside diameter in one sixteenth of an inch increments. Metal tubing fluid lines are sized by wall thickness and outside diameter in one sixteenth of an inch increments. Okay. Outside diameter in one sixteenth of an inch increments. Soft copper, aluminum, and brass. Soft copper, aluminum, and brass. Rolling type flaring tools are used to flare soft copper, aluminum, and brass. Soft copper, aluminum, and brass. Number four, 316254. 316254. 316254. 316254. Two, five, four. So, in the following sequence, the steps indicate the proper order you would make a single flare of a piece of tubing. You're going to go in steps order of three, one, six, two, five, four. Three, one, six, two, five, four. Three, one, six, two, five, four. Okay? Number five, by cutting out the damaged area and use, utilizing a swedge tube fitting to join tube ends. By cutting out the damaged area and utilizing a swag tube fitting to join the tube ends. To cut out the damaged area and utilizing a swag tube fitting to join the tube ends. In hydraulic tubing, which is damaged, it is localized to a certain area. It is such the extent that a repair necessary may be repaired by cutting out the damaged area and utilizing a swag tube fitting to join tube ends. Hydraulic tubage, which is damaged in a localized area to such an extent that a repair is necessary may be repaired by cutting out the damaged area and utilizing a swagged tube fitting to join the tube's ends. Okay? Number six, more resistant to damage when the joint is tightened. More resistant to damage when the joint is tightened. More resistant to damage when the joint is tightened. What is the advantage of a double flare aluminum tubing? It is more resistant to damage when the joint is tightened. Number seven, contracts in length and expands in diameter. Contracts in length and expands in diameter. Contracts in length and expands in diameter. A certain amount of slack must be left in a flexible hose during installation because when under pressure it contracts in length and expands in diameter. Contracts in length and expands in diameter. Number eight, impressions left in natural or synthetic rubber hose material. Impressions left in synthetic rubber hose material. The term cold flow is generally associated with impressions left in natural or synthetic rubber hose material. Impressions left in natural 
or synthetic rubber hose material. Number nine, black. It is black. What color of an AN steel flare tube fitting? Black. What color is the AN steel flared tube fitting? It is black. Okay, number 10. One, which of the following statements is correct in reference to flare fittings? An AN fitting have an identifying shoulder between the ends of the threads and the flare cone. And okay, out of all of these, number one, an AN fitting have an identifying shoulder between the end of the threads and the flare cone. Number 11, a slack of five to eight percent of the length. A slack of five to eight percent of the length. Flexible lines must be installed with a slack of five to eight percent of the length. A slack of five to eight percent of the length. Number 12, 52 and a half inches, 52 and a half inches, 52 and a half inches. The maximum distance between the fittings to which a straight hose assembly is to be connected is 50 inches. The minimum hose length to make such a connection should be a 52 inch, 52 and a half inch hose a 52 and a half inch hose. Okay, here's your first quiz and I'll see you in a minute.